G'day guys, welcome to the vlog. I've just cooked some breakfast up. I'm having some breakfast early in the morning this morning. Just having some good old BLT, but without the L. And I'm also cooking up some crumpets here as well. And I'm gonna chuck on some Vegemite on top of those. And I'm also making a coffee, but I think I put too much in the milk proper. So that's going everywhere. Okay guys, so I'm going to head out now. I'm going to go down to the thrift, get some stuff because I want to stock up on my Amazon products so then I can make a shipment out. I almost have enough to ship to Amazon, but considering I'm shipping from Australia, it costs a fortune. So I just want to get enough items up to make it worth my while and so then I can get the maximum profits out of each shipment. So strictly again today is Amazon FBA stuff. I'm going to go thrifting for that stuff right now, maybe an hour or so. And then I'm going to get some work done. I might come back or I might go to the library to get that stuff done. But that's what the plan's looking like for today. So I just got done at a couple of thrifts. I spent maybe 45 minutes to an hour just thrifting. I picked up three books here, which will be going to Amazon. I don't know how much it's going to work out to be. Maybe like 100 bucks profit, US dollars there. But I'm almost there to get my shipment out. I've just got maybe another 5 to 10 more books to make it worthy. So I've just been working way here in the office. I am listing my 10 items up for eBay at the moment. I have a box here full of stuff that I'm just working through. One of the items I'm listing is this Versace shirt. This Patagonia pearl snap. This is just stuff that has been sitting around for a while and just hasn't sort of sold and just other stuff that I'm getting rid of my own stuff. For example, this Wilson basketball. I'm also listing this Pearl Azumi long sleeve cycling jersey. Getting rid of that. That one, I'm going to keep. There's a couple of Harry Potter books. I actually bumped into someone at Savers. His name was David. Shout out to David. We got talking there for a while because he was a seller. He sells books on eBay and he gave me a tip to collect the Harry Potter books and sell them as a lot. If you collect all five or however many there is in a lot, you can put them together as a collection and sell them. They sell for like a hundred bucks you were saying or something like that. I've just got two of them. They're pretty torn up and been eaten alive by dogs. I'm just going to list them anyway for whatever I can get for them. But it was pretty cool. I'm not sure if David's going to be watching this video. But we're both searching through the book section at Savers. And I think he started talking to me. He's like talking about how the prices of Savers is increasing. Like especially like the books and stuff. Like book, some books are $10, $20. Considering some books are really thick. They sell them for $10 to $20 or something like that. And he was just talking about that. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool, blah, blah, blah. And then eventually, he eventually said, why do you get into books? And I said, to be honest, I'm a reseller. And from there on, we just had a conversation about reselling and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. It's my first real experience talking to a fellow reseller in the thrift store. Most of the time, people just look at each other as competition. They're like, I've got to get this item before you. But in reality, we're all humans and we have stuff to share. So it was a great opportunity and a great learning experience for me and for David. He got some tips as well. So, David, if you're watching this, shout out to you. Good job. Thanks for talking to me. It was great to meet you. Getting back to this, I've also got some other items here as well, like this Nerf gun. I'm actually going to give that to my cousins. I didn't give that to them because I haven't got the bullets for them, the round discs. Got to get some of those and then I'll give that to them. But just working through this box at the moment, I've also been listing my Amazon inventory on Amazon as well. I still got to get, I realized, to, I realized to make it worth me sending out a big box of stuff to Amazon in the US, get probably that same amount of inventory again to make it worth it because I can ship out a maximum of about 20 to 22 kilograms of stuff and it costs $170 to ship it out. So to make it worthwhile, I'm going to be shipping out a heap of stuff all at once. And that's going to be my main goal from maybe this month or so or even more i want to focus on doing that because it brings in the more money it costs like two bucks a book and and i'm picking up books that are going to sell for 20 30 dollars or more most of the books there are 30 dollars 40 dollars 50 a couple of 150 dollar books that's not including amazon fees for shipping the item and that's a great thing about it it's laid back in that i don't have to do anything once i send it out they they just control everything so that's a really cool thing about it and I've been planning a possible thrift trip in the next coming days or so. I'm going to start heading out and just work really hard and get thrifting going. Just build up that Amazon inventory. And I can ship out stuff as I find it. I don't have to have it clogging up my car. So that's going to be great. But I think that's about it for today's video, everyone. 
I'm going to get an early night in. I'm going to edit a video, then I'm going to bed early. I've been staying up pretty late the last couple of nights, but thank you for watching. I'm going to stop talking now. See you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.